What's going on guys, Joe Munoz here, OneStepPrep.com. Hope you're doing well, hope this video finds you well. And I wanna to talk to you about the 320 descent planning, specifically the deleting of an altitude constraint without you actually deleting it, but it just disappears, poof, it vanishes. Sometimes when you're on a star, you're on an arrival, and you have on your star, expect to cross this point at this altitude, okay? Like for example, for Lauderdale coming in, we have a point where it says expect to cross at 8,000 feet. So sure enough, the controller will give you the clearance, okay? Trainer one to send to cross XYZ at 8,000 feet. You program 8,000 feet, right? And then somewhere along the line, as you descend down, you realize my constraint has disappeared. Where did it go, okay? So I wanna to talk to you about that because this is a trap that could happen to you and it's a cause of a lot of ASAP reports, okay? Now here's what it could potentially be. If you have been given a runway change on the descent, the manually entered constraint, altitude constraint, will be deleted. Let me make sense of that for you, okay? Let's say you're descending down on a star, on an arrival, okay? And ATC says, trainer one, expect runway one zero left. And you had one zero right programmed in. So here you are descending on the star and you change runways in the flight plan page. Upon changing the runway, your manually entered altitude constraint will be deleted. So if you pull anything out of this video, it's the following. Manually entered altitude constraints will be deleted when a runway change is made in the flight plan. I hope that's as clear as it can possibly get. If not, please reach out to us, OneStepPrep.com. If you want to work with us, whether it's online, virtually, on video, maybe we do a meeting online using some type of uh, meeting platform. We do like a webinar. We can do that, certainly. Done that with many, many clients before. Hopefully, we get to do it with you. And by the way, maybe you're in Miami. You want to actually come here and work with us in Miami in person. Please reach out to us, OneStepPrep.com. My name is Joe Munoz. If you don't know who I am, and my partner Juan Dominguez, if you don't know who we are, that's our fault. We're going to apologize for that right now, but we're here to help you. We hope you give us the opportunity to play that role in your training program success.